there's no frost on top because of the heat from the compost pile. So I'm David. And I'm Faith, and we're here on Midnight's Farm. We did a Western SARE funded research project looking at adding play to compost. When we went on our first date and we were like, oh, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your life? David's answer was, I want to make compost. And I thought that was so cool. <laughs> we got ourselves in a lot of trouble with that one. We take community drop off of yard debris and this time of year, in the middle of winter, it gets put under our cattle and then composted. Other times of the year, it just gets straight composted. It makes like a thousand yards of compost a year. What is compost? It is the aerobic decomposition of organic materials by the microbes. Our job is to try to keep all these microbes happy. They need moisture because they live in the in the water films. Mm -hmm. They need oxygen because they're respiring. They need nitrogen because they got to build their bodies. And they need carbon to chew up. So you put all the right materials together and then... The magic happens. Yeah. The magic is the microbes. For years, David had this question. He kept saying, I wonder what would happen if we added clay to compost. Clay soils tend to hold more organic matter. Organic matter will adhere to clay, and when it does that, it's more stable. So because we think a lot about climate, we're thinking a lot about carbon, and we're thinking a lot about carbon sequestration, asking this question that if we add clay to compost, will that hold on to more carbon and hold on to more nutrients in the compost. Can we add the clay and make this magic thing happen? So what the experiment was, we did three replicates. We had a control that was just the compost feedstocks with nothing added to it. Then we had um, the local clay, which was the compost feedstocks with 5% local clay. And then we had one that was 5% of the Montmorillonite. So we had a total of nine. <laughs> batches and then we took the finished compost from those and then we made a potting soil and grew lettuce seedlings and then looked at the nutrient density of the lettuce trying to see if it would translate through to the plant. The results were like disappointingly um, inconclusive. <laughs> With the concentrations, which was pretty minimal, 5% clays, we didn't see results that were significant. Yeah, we were like, oh, we didn't learn anything, but then the scientists have a longer view. Hi, I'm Doug Collins, and I'm an Extension Specialist with Washington State University, and I work at the Puyallup Research and Extension Center. Really, what's different about this project, and, and also I would, I would credit um, Sarah in this is to actually give farmers to, to realize that it's it's difficult to do the replication, to do an experiment where we can actually conclude something, right? In this case, we weren't able to conclude that what we thought would happen did happen, but we're still able to conclude that it didn't happen exactly that way. And so that helps to build this foundation. What's the next question? What's the next step? So we are doing another replicate with a higher concentration, and we'll see what comes of that. I won't lose my curiosity. There's so much to learn, and there's so much we don't know. Stepping in and just doing a little bit of science and being a part of that has been really gratifying.